I'm Raquel from the blog Out of the Past and I'm here with another haul video and this one features four movies and four books. So let's start with the movies and these are ones um, that I received from Kino Lober for review. They're four Blu-rays, three movies I've never seen before and one that's a, a favorite of mine that's dear, uh, near and dear to my heart. So let's start with the um, three films I haven't seen yet and these are all pre-codes. Um, the first one is Tallulah Bankhead in The Cheat. Um, and this one, I believe she is a degenerate gambler who got herself into quite a debt and she seeks help from a wealthy playboy played by um, Irving Pichel and she gets herself into some hot water. That's all I know about it. It's a pre-coat. I love pre-coats and this one's from 1931. So I'm curious to see what this is like. And the next is also a Tallulah Bankhead movie and it's got a fantastic cast. I've never seen this one and I was like, why haven't I seen it? Because it sounds amazing. Um, Devil and the Deep here from 1932, a Paramount picture. And it stars Tallulah Bankhead. You have um, Charles Lawton up there. you got Gary Cooper down here. And this is one of um, Cary Grant's um, first substantial roles um, when he was at Paramount. Um, he was famously in those movies with Mae West, um, like she done him wrong, but this one was like a more substantial role for him. So I'm really curious to see how this one plays out. It seems like it'd be quite a sexy pre-code film. And the next one too really just like seemed very titillating from what um, I saw and I had never heard of it and I was like, I gotta check this one out. This is Hot Saturday. I mean, you can't go wrong with a title like that, Hot Saturday. And this stars um, Nancy Carroll, you see on the cover, but it also stars Cary Grant and Randolph Scott. If you know, you know. So um, I've only ever seen them together in My Favorite Wife, and I'm not really sure how many movies they did end up making together, but um, I, I would kill for a chance to see them on screen again together um, after seeing My Favorite Wife a few times. Um, this one, yeah, this one I've never heard of. Um, it just, it, it's, the, the, the Blu-ray says it's a pre-code scorcher. So I'm sold. I don't know if I even need to know what the plot is about. The tagline here says, they called her bad and she tried to live up to it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and I actually really like Nancy Carroll in addition to um, Cary Grant and Randolph Scott so definitely excited to, to watch this one um, and these three are blu-rays I hope they have subtitles I haven't opened they're still in their packaging um, but they have um, audio commentary and trailers as extras and then the fourth film is the one that's near and dear to my heart which is come september and this is from what yours is from 1961 um this is like my one of my absolute top favorite comedies it's one of my favorite sex comedies it's right up there with pillow talk um so it's rock hudson gina lola brigida who i met and interviewed which you can watch my interview with her on this um on this channel and i asked her specifically about um um like what films she liked to work work on and she said that working with rock hudson was one of her favorite experiences so that's really great and then of course not to overshadow the fact that this is a sandra d and bobby darren film they made a few together all of them i have seen and love um and own i actually own this on dvd um but this is their first movie together in fact this is when they were falling in love and um, um, about to get married and so this is just like one of those like I don't know if it's technically a comedy of errors but there's a lot of errors going on so um, basically uh, um, it's kind of hard to explain like this guy owns this like well he doesn't own it he's like a butler for this um, this rich guy Rock Hudson um, and he, when Rock Hudson is away, this takes place in Italy. When Rock Hudson is away, he rents out, the, like the butler rents out the, you know, the mansion to tourists, which in, in this time it includes um, a group of tourists um, that include Bobby Darren and Sandra Dee. And, um, but Rock Hudson decides to come back 
um, to, to be with his Italian girlfriend, you know, Lola Brigida, who's absolutely sick of his crap and was about to get married to somebody else, but um, canceled plans. So, like, basically, um, like, you have Rock Hudson trying to come home to his own house, but it's being rented out um, as, like, almost like an Airbnb <laughs> in the 60s. So there's all that confusion and then you have like two romances happening at the same time and it's italy in the 60s it's just so fantastic i don't know if i even did a good job describing it but um i just absolutely love this i love the music i love the dancing i even love the bad dubbing it's just like so charming and there's something very special about um films that were made in the 60s that took place and were filmed in Italy. Um, there was this huge boom in filmmaking and it's um, it was a great way. It was it was almost as though it was like um, armchair travel for Americans who wanted to go to Italy but couldn't get out there. Um, so this is fun. It's colorful. It's romantic. It's funny. It's yeah. It's really great, so I highly recommend this. So I'm excited to see what it looks like because it's such a beautifully stunning film and um, on top of the fact that, you know, the leads are also like gorgeous. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how this comes out in Blu-ray. Okay, enough blabbing about the movies. Now let's move on to the books. So I have two books that I purchased and two books that were sent to me for review. So let's talk about them. So the first book that um, I purchased, we'll start with the two that I purchased. Um, and I bought these from barnesandnoble.com. Although lately I've been purchasing almost exclusively from Larry Edmonds, um, which I recommend they have an online shop now and I'll leave a link down below so you go check them out. But they didn't happen to have um, this particular book. Um, so this is My Last Sigh, the autobiography of Louise Buñuel. Um, if you know me, I. I'm absolutely obsessed with Louise Buñuel right now. Um, I started, I, I, I was given a research project to um, write about the criminal life of Archibald, Archibaldo de la Cruz. And I was like, what is this movie? This is insane. And um, I just took, took a deep dive. I had seen Belle du Jour, Viridiana and Tristana in the past, but I hadn't seen other of his films. So I, I just went on a deep dive. I fell in love with The Exterminating Angel. I saw um, Phantom of Liberty the other day, which is absolutely insane. It's on the Criterion channel if you want to watch it. I rented The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, which is the one of his films that actually won um, the Oscar for Best Foreign Film, now Best International Film. Um, so I just went like on a deep dive. And I also had used this book just through Google Books uh, for research on a movie that he had worked on as like an assistant producer it was like a Josephine Baker film and um, the 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 passages for that were so spicy it was like very very like very straightforward opinionated guy like he had some some really like interesting takes on things like he was very um, like he fled Spain he was very much against the like the um, um, uh, Generalissimo Franco regime there so he was an expat for a long time he was an important part of like the um, golden age of Mexican cinema he was very um, against like religion especially the Catholic Church he was fascinated with sexuality so that comes up a lot in his movies and my favorite thing about his um, films other you know on top of the fact that they're surreal they're absurdist they're just sometimes insane is the fact that he explores the um how <laughs> how sometimes we have the will to do something but we don't actually follow through with that that is a common theme in a lot of his movies um especially the exterminating angel if you've seen that movie you know what i'm talking about so anyways i'm working on an article for dvd netflix about him and um, I had like some other sources I was working with, but I was like, why don't we hear from the man himself? So I got this. I think it's an interesting cover choice. This came out in the 80s. But like, I mean, if you know uh, what Luis Buñuel looked like, he had very expressive eyes. And this strip kind of goes right across his eyes. And I was like, OK, I don't I don't understand why. It's I mean, it's a nice cover, but I think it's a. I think it's kind of a shallow choice in design, but anyway, that's me. 
Uh, so I got that book. And then the next one I purchased is, um, which I believe you can get signed copies of this from Larry Edmonds Bookshop. So you should try to do that if you can. Um, and this one is 20th Century Fox, Daryl F. Zanuck, and the Creation of the Modern Film Studio by Scott Eyman. Um, I'm super interested in books about film studios. I'm reading one right now about the fall of Paramount um, called Engulfed by Bernard F. Dick. Um, I have books about Columbia, Warner Brothers. This is my second one about um, 20th Century Fox. So this is just like kind of a straightforward, uh, I believe a straightforward biography on the studio. It's, you know, just a standard book. It's not a, you know, coffee table book or anything. Although there are some, there are some inserts too. So there are some, some photos to enjoy. So I'm excited about this one. And this is part of the TCM running press line, which I love. I even have like a dedicated shelf right here of just like <laughs> um, books from that um, that imprint because I think they do a really great job. And then speaking of that imprint, I have two new books that um, I believe they are both coming out in November, but I have to tell you, as somebody who works in the book industry, just know right now, supply chain issues and a global, global shipping crisis means that book on sale dates do not necessarily hold. So if I say a book is coming out at a certain time, it may not, it may come out a little later, so that's okay. But anyways, these are coming out this fall. And the first one I'm super, super excited about because this is one of my favorite authors of all time, Sloane DeForest. Um, her book is The Essential Directors, The Art and Impact of Cinema's Most Influential Filmmakers. And there are four words by Peter Bogdanovich, who you can see right there, and Jacqueline Stewart, um, the professor who also um, is a host for Turner Classic Movies. She also works for the Academy Award Museum. She's just absolutely amazing person. Um, so this one is actually, this is a soft cover, you'll see, it's kind of bendy, um, and it's got French flaps, so it's quite sturdy for a paperback, which is great. And um, I haven't done a deep dive, but from what I understand, this is just a collection of articles on different um, directors over the years. Got Oscar Michaud there. And I'm sure because this is Sloane DeForest, there's going to be lots of really great female um, directors too. Here's Billy Wilder. And what I love about Sloane DeForest's writing, it's very engaging. So um, you kind of get sucked in. Um, and she always does a great job of uh, um, making you interested in stuff that you might not be interested in. And it is, yeah, this is quite thorough from what I understand. And let's see, Francis Ford Coppola. So there's a lot of directors here. So I'm super excited and I'll be reviewing this one on my blog. And the last book is Hollywood Victory, which I'm excited about. Hollywood Victory, the movies, stars, and stories of World War II by Christian Blovelt. And this one has a foreword by Dr. Robert M. Satino. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, of the National World War II Museum. So obviously this is a book all about um, basically the intersection between Hollywood and World War II. One great um, design aspect of this is that there's stripes along the spine. Well, this is not the spine. This is like, this is the spine, um, as you can see right here. But I don't know, like the book block, the, the pages across, you'll see that there, there are stripes, which I think is a really great, cool element. Um, it just has kind of a plain jacket, like a plain um, self cover. Um, I was hoping for some interesting end papers, but they just went with the plain red. Um, so, so this one is broken down in different sections and it goes throughout the different um, time periods uh, throughout the, uh, the United States involvement with uh, World War and how um, it involved Hollywood, so the movies that were being made and the different um, um, players who were important, like there's a chapter on Carol Lombard. Um, so this one, 
it doesn't have like a ton of like color pictures there's more um, black and white pictures but it has a really great design and I love um, the world world war II era stuff so I'm really excited to read these articles in this book there's the back right there so coming out from TCM's imprint with running press got essential directors and Hollywood victory well, that's my haul. I hope you liked it and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.